overturned and derailed. 14 coaches of a passenger train rolled off the track in the early hours while many were sleeping. All of a sudden there was a massive jerk. Our heads collided with the roof of a coach. After that the coach was derailed. We somehow managed to escape because the door couldn't be opened. After getting out of the coach we saw that the train had derailed. My four to five companions are missing. Rescue teams rushed to the scene of destruction in Puck Ryan, a village near the industrial town of Kampur. Many ambulances have reached here. We've pulled out many dead bodies. Our challenge is that we have to take out people from a coach which has been crushed by another. Secondly, one more coach has been badly damaged, where some people are believed to be stuck. Some coaches crumpled as they crashed into others, trapping hundreds of people inside. Railway police and volunteers are trying to pull out the living and the dead. Medical teams are providing first aid near the site, and those who are seriously injured have been moved to hospitals in the village of Kampur. Prime Minister Modi has tweeted his prayers are with those involved in the accident, and says the railway's minister, Suresh Prabhu, is monitoring the situation closely. India's railway network is one of the world's largest. About 23 million people use the country's network every day. But much railway equipment is out of date, and deadly accidents occur relatively frequently. Modi's government has pledged to invest $137 billion over five years to modernize its crumbling railways.